As part of the city's continuous investment in infrastructure, preparations have begun to construct a new $20 million water plant on a newly acquired 10 acres of land across from the city's current water plant. Public Works Director Dennis Kress gives us an overview of the project. This is the site located at 9525 Collinsville Road between Shop and Save and the Collinsville Middle School. This is the future site of the Collinsville water plant. It consists of a 10 acre site that's been overgrown since 1970. We purchased this piece of property for $55,000. When the building's constructed, it's going to be pretty much in line with the existing Shop and Save building. So it'll be towards the north end of the property, allowing for the future development of the front half of the property. There'll be approximately three and a half to four acres on the front of the property that'll be used for redevelopment in the future. We're expecting this project to break ground in October or early November. Over the next three months, you'll, we'll see the redesign of the, the water plant for this particular site. Uh, once the redesign is done, it'll be submitted to the EPA for a review for a construction permit. Then we'll go to bid once we have a contractor under contract. The project has to go back to the EPA for a review for the financial aspects of the project. And then once we get the sign off from the EPA's financial section, we'll go ahead and proceed with the, the construction of the building. We expect the construction of the actual building to take place over 18 to 20 months. Uh, the entire contract for constructing the building, getting the water plant up and running, and then demolishing the old water plant, we're expecting about a 24 month construction period. What's really nice about constructing the plant on this site is we'll literally be able to build the entire water plant on this site, get it up and running and producing water. We'll be able to work out any of the bugs that will be in the production process, and then we'll literally be able to open one valve and turn the valve off to the old water plant and proceed with demolishing the old water plant. The existing water plant is a 5 million gallon a day water plant. The new water plant will also be a 5 million gallon a day plant. Um, the difference will be that, that the new plan is designed for to increase the capacity of the plan in the future. The big benefit of this is we're going to have complete redundancy in this new water plant. Currently in our existing plant, we don't have the ability to shut the plant down for any length of time over 30 hours and do any heavy maintenance in the water plant. All the processes in this new plant will be completely redundant so we can take any major piece of process of equipment out of service for prolonged lengths of time and be able to do heavy maintenance on the plant. When we designed this, the new water plant, we anticipated the future growth of Collinsville. When we first looked at the project, it was important that we built a plant that was going to be able to supply water for the future development of Collinsville. So with any future development that's going to be in the area, we'll have plenty of capacity to meet that demand. 